Welcome to the Savion training on the review of the back office with Savion. Today we're going to take a look at all the functionality of the back office with Savion. And the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your back office by going to Savion.net, put in your username and password, and click on Login. That's going to bring you to our members back office portal. You're going to see a lot of different functional tabs across the top of the back office that you're going to be using uh, from time to time. We're going to break down each one briefly to give you an idea of what's available to you as far as information uh, to your Savion back office. The first place I want you to see is that we have all these tabs across the top with the profile, the members portal, the e-wallet, reports tab, personals, passes, marketing, and then the logout button. First one we're going to look at is the profile section. Under the profile section, you'll be entering all your personal information, your phone, your address, cell phone, uh, selecting cell phone carrier. Uh, you can even opt out of our text messaging if you'd like by clicking on Do Not Send under the drop-down menu. Uh, you'll also be looking at information about your RSM renewal date, GTM renewal date, and so forth. And you'll have business information as well, as like your username, password that you can change, your website address, uh, changing your checking account information, and so forth placement setting for your back office and access, accessing the capture page. All of that is information available in the profile. Be sure that anytime you change anything to click on the Save All Changes button. Uh, this is on the bottom part of that page as well. Again, you can see your GTM renewal information is going to be located on the bottom of the profile page. The next area on the menu bar is the Members Portal. Under the Member Portal right now we have uh, four different links for you to access the Retail Shopping Membership, the RSM, the RSM Redemption Tracker, the Instant Saving Benefit Portal, and the Global Travel Membership Portal, all accessible through the Members Portal. Let's kind of go ahead and break down each one individually. Uh, under the Retail Shopping Membership, this is where you're going to be adding your 10 retail stores. And uh, once you've added your stores, then you can go ahead and start shopping and collecting your receipts and submitting your information into the purchase area. You'll see that under RSM Record Purchase, and uh, you'll click on the drop down menu, you'll select the store that you're at, it'll have the dates of the week for that reporting period. Uh, go ahead and highlight the date of that week, enter in the information with no tax, uh, just the subtotal, and hit the record purchase and it will itemize it down in that box below. As you accumulate um, your credits via your cashback wallet from all of your receipts that you're submitting, you'll eventually uh, tally up at least $125 of which you can then submit for a redemption. The redemption button will light up once you have at least $125 in your account and then you can go ahead and process your first redemption and go through the required steps to validate with your receipt information and so forth. And then you can go ahead and utilize the next item down in the portal called the RSM Redemption Tracker. The Redemption Tracker tracks the status of every redemption that you submit into the portal. It will tell you uh, there's about nine different uh, steps here that it will outline dates and information for you. And you can see here like store submitted date, RSM redemption available date, the redemption pending date, all these different ones. They have little descriptions there written for you on how to use that as you go through. And here's the last three here, 7, 8, 9, 10, 4, excuse me, uh, where you got the cashback via Savion Pass available date, cashback uh, redemption date, uh, cashback via ACH available date and redemption date. All those dates are not applicable right now because of the uh, the redemption I had in there was brand new. But that would outline all the dates when your redemptions are available for uh, getting paid. Okay, so that's all tracked to the RSM redemption tracker. Then we have the instant savings benefit portal. <clears throat> this is going to give you access to all of your daily savings opportunities here. There's over 300,000 plus marketing partners in the ISB, over 700 national brands. You can choose anything from automotive to car rentals, condos, cruises, dining, entertainment, golf, home and garden, hotels, movies, shopping, uh, even grocery coupons are available here through the ISB. This is the kind of thing if you absolutely use it on a regular basis, you can save a ton of money. Easily 5 to $10 a day if you really tried. I mean, you could probably even push that up to $10, $15, $20 a day. Uh, just one offer uh, can save you $5, $10, $15, $20. Or so there's lots of opportunities here, guys, to use the ISB and add additional savings into your family. 
and uh, even maybe zero out your 125 a month just with the ISB, not even factoring in your cash back. Finally, on this portal here in the members portal, we have the Global Travel Membership. Under the Global Travel Membership now, uh, we have some different uh, links in here. One is Click to Renew and Profile. So again, if you go back to your profile, you'll see on the bottom of that profile page the GTM renewal date is highlighted there uh, when that will be. And right now you renew with the GTM Pass. Okay. If you want to cancel your membership, it tells you right there that you can cancel your GTM membership uh, and so forth and all the instructions right there. The bonus statement, this is going to show you a value of $8.22 being paid into your uh, bonus credit every single day as you take $3,000 uh, in total savings a year divided by 365 days that's $8.22 a day as posting into your account and every day that you're an active member with GTM the $8.22 is going to post in there and keep accumulating and uh, whenever you want to make a redemption against your cash back wallet for GTM bonuses uh, you have to have whatever amount accumulated in your account in order to submit that receipt for the 20% cash back so you can't submit receipts for 20% more than if you don't have enough accumulated in your account. So you want to let that build up if you're going to be, you know, redeeming for $400, $500, $600. This has to be built up in your account first. Okay? So that 822 builds up in your bonus statement. The receipt recorder, this is when you're going to go ahead and submit your receipts once you've completed your travel with your hotel stay and your airlines. You're going to go ahead and submit that information into these boxes here and hit the record purchase button. And then we have the uh, GTM cashback wallet. You know, once you start to build up credits here with your transactions, it'll start to credit here in this account. And uh, that is your GTM portal. There are some guidelines here uh, helping you uh, understand all the different uh, policies regarding in terms of condition regarding the GTM. It's all outlined here on the same page on the bottom of the page under GTM guidelines under the GTM portal. Okay. The next one across the top, guys, is our e-wallet. This is very simply, uh, if you're an affiliate with Savion, uh, all of your commissions that you'll be generating will be posted into the e-wallet. And under the e-wallet, you can redeem for passes. Um, you can uh, transfer for ACH, you know, in increments of 125. And that will all be available uh, in the e-wallet. Okay. And then we're going to look at our report functions. Uh, report functions is basically your genealogy of your organization that's uh, looking at a graphical view uh, such as this of your team. So if you want to see everything that's going on in your organization, even to the point you can do placement of new members in your genealogy by clicking on the, the blue open link uh, anywhere in your downline. Uh, you know, on your team one or team two, you can uh, place your next new enrolled member into those open links and that will create a sign-up form right there uh, on your uh, screen and you're able to go ahead and enter that person's information and place them right directly to your genealogy or you can just simply send new people to your join button on your website uh, we also have a number of team reports that you can look at I'm not going to go through each one or this video would be uh, way too long but you can see we have a lot of team reports here as far as enrollments, GTM upgrades, ISB activations, the team ranks. You can look at all the ranks of new people in your team and what ranks they're hitting. Uh, the canceled active list, the canceled inactive list, lapsed memberships, and check return lists. All that is helpful to know who's staying active and who's not active anymore on your team, who you should follow up, and so forth. So you want to use these reports to see the progress you're making and building your business and how others are doing. Also, you can see who's active, non-active, and so forth. Use these reports to manage and grow your business every single day. The next one we're going to look at is the Personals tab. The Personals tab is anybody that you personally uh, made a membership sale to in Savion. Uh, they are going to be listed in here with their information, their entry date, their renewal date, their active status, whether they're active or inactive or canceled. Um, and if we have an event, a major event going on like we do coming up here in the future, that registration would show here their current rank, and of course their contact information, their mobile and email information. Then we have the passes uh, tab on the menu bar. Passes are basically an alternative way for people to get started with Savion outside of their checking account. So if they don't want to use a check, they can use a Savion pass that they can get from their upline sponsor. And uh, as a member of Savion, you can purchase passes. We have different kinds of passes, and we have an entire video called Understand the Pass Economy located in our video library that we encourage you to watch if you want to get more familiar with the pass program but uh, we have specific enrollment passes with the RSM and GTM pass for signing up new members and uh, getting new membership sales 
We also have specific renewal passes for lapsed accounts. We have reinstatement passes for accounts that have been returned with a check return or a closed account status. Um, and uh, those are specific kinds of passes only for certain situations. But uh, there's no limit on how many passes you can redeem from your e-wallet. So if you want to build your business with a pass economy, it's going to help streamline the process of getting your new members on board as they don't have, uh, they typically will avoid any potential issues with their checking account. And uh, also it gets you paid cash in hand because that person will pay you for the pass directly, uh, which will substitute from you getting paid from your ACH. So uh, the pass area looks like this. You can even look up passes and see if they've been used or not. It'll tell you if the pass was used or not used. It's simply a, a code separated with a dash that you offer to somebody. They punch in that code, copy and paste it into the sign-up page. Uh, click by uh, when the pass box comes up, they punch in that code by pasting it in there, and that works just like a payment of using their checking account. Now the final tab here we're going to look at tonight is the marketing tab on the menu bar. This one has uh, quite a few different things here. We have the tools, capture page, training video support, events, and updates. First one we're going to look at here are the marketing tools. Uh, right now we have a, a, some different presentations available here. PowerPoints in Spanish, uh, the current company PowerPoint presentation which we do update from time to time uh, is the first one. Then we have the event flyer, uh, the company logo for affiliates. The one that you are pre-approved to use in any marketing, business cards, flyers, website, anything you want to do for marketing with the logo must have independent affiliate to it is all available here in the tools section. The capture page uh, uh, link is going to bring you here to our capture page system where you have a number of different pages available. It is being blended into our mobile marketing system which we're going to be releasing here the 1st of April. So we'll be updating uh, that here just a, about a week and a half or two from now. But uh, everything here is going to be updated here with the mobile marketing system, which is going to be an incredible virtual business card that you can send out via phone. Okay, as we know, most people spend their time on their cell phones now, not on their computers anymore. The next area is the video training library. This is a very, very important part of your marketing area. You're going to want to get all of your new people guided right into these videos the first day that they go do some homework, do some self-education here. Watch these videos, especially on compliance, on the membership, understanding how the 28-day cycle works, all these important videos that people really need to watch before they start marketing Savion's memberships are right here. So uh, please instruct your new people and even your existing ones too who haven't done it yet to go watch these videos and self-educate themselves uh, more about how Savion actually works. And they will learn how to maximize their membership and affiliate opportunity by doing so. And then we have our support link under the marketing tab. Support is where you can go ahead and send in a support question. Uh, we are making a major upgrade to our support platform, and that will include instant messaging uh, online and so forth. So uh, we'll be expanding our hours as well as far as call-in time uh, to talk to a live representative. So a lot of that's going to be upgraded here next week. I just want to show you currently that you can go ahead and submit a support question at that area. We also have some stated FAQs, which you can learn a lot from. And a lot of times people have the same questions that are stated in the FAQ, so be sure to tell them to read the FAQs first before they send in a support ticket, because a lot of times uh, those questions are answered right here. And finally, under marketing, we have, our, uh, we have our event listings for live events taking place around the country, and you're going to want to pay attention here. This list is growing by the week. Uh, we have more and more leaders starting to pop up events around the country. And uh, we are all over the place. Some of these events are led by corporate leaders like myself. Uh, others are done by field leaders out there that are anywhere from a one-star to a five-star. So definitely um, when you click on any one of these links, you'll see a little details about that event. Like this one is on, on Saturday here coming up here at Rudy's Barbecue in Denton, Texas. And it's an overview and quick start training. Uh, some of the ones also pop up and tell you who the leaders are, the go-to people. And the last link under the marketing tab is the company updates. You're going to see these little flyers, and you can see uh, the little numbers here. You click on each number, it pops up a different flyer. There's different events that we do throughout the week. We have the uh, power uh, Hour of Power Sunday night through Thursday night. We have the Blitz Brigade every Wednesday. Uh, we have the Ladies' Night wi Women's Call every Wednesday night. We have Spanish Calls. A lot of different events happening, guys. Make sure you go to these updates and pay attention to what's going on. If there's anything big going on, you're going to see about it or learn about it right here. And with that, that completes our back office overview here tonight for Savion. Thank you so much for taking a moment to review this quick video. We want to welcome you aboard to Savion, and we look forward to seeing you succeed 
all the way to the top with Savion.